What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivon here back with another video and today we're going to look at my top 10 favorite iOS 14 widgets. But without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm going to have my screen recording up here because you guys seem to like it. But... The first app we're gonna talk about today is Widgetsmith. Now I won't dive too deep into Widgetsmith, but a lot of people seem to like always ask what widget you get. This is the first widget you get if you want to customize your iPhone. Now as you can see, I have Widgetsmith for my photos. You could use Widgetsmith for reminders. It's like a multi-purpose app. You could see all my different widgets, and if you choose between small, medium, or large widgets, there's tons of different options you could add. So let's go into our medium widgets right here. So if you go down here, guys, and you go into default widgets, you could choose between clocks, you could choose calendar, you could choose photos from a photo album, a day, a time. Here are the different calendar widgets. But so for example, we added this one right here. We could change the font if we want to, to like this really nice one right here. We could change the tint color to match your aesthetic. So we could go for like um, this gold one, a background color right here. Change the style, pastel, all that stuff. And when you're finished, just hit save. Go to medium widgets. This is the one we just chose. And yeah, as you can see, that looks pretty nice. So yeah, with it, Schmidt, one of my most favorite applications. As you can see, I'm using it straight across the board right here. And it's really good. Next up on the list guys, we have the Color Widgets app. And the reason I love the Color Widgets app is that because it has like a touch of flavor that a lot of these different apps don't have. Widget Smith starts to kind of update their app and stuff, but Color Widgets is what I'm using right here for my picture where I have the, the time and the dates and also the battery percentage overlay. So if you jump on over to the Color Widgets app, you guys can see we have tons of customizations here. You have these pre, like, preset widgets you could choose from they have the pro versions of course but look at all these widgets you could choose from they added even countdown timers so if you have a favorite event you could add a countdown right here which is really cool you also have different minimal widgets you have calendar widgets and they also added the option to have like a photo itself so as you can see i have my overlay with a time and day here so if you want to just use the photo itself you scroll all the way down hit photo only set widgets and then boom as you can see on my home screen i don't have the time or the date and but that's not the reason i have it i have it because it shows the time or the date you can also change the image if you want to so if you, you could go in here let's say you want this babe jacket and then set widget if you jump onto home you can see it has that ovo right there super easy to use and yeah color widgets is also one of my favorite widgets to choose from next up guys we have one very special widget and this one is called steve it's actually a game so if you jump on into the app store and download steve this is what the app would look like it's literally the google chrome like game but it's in a widget which is really cool now this widget is kind of different because you could only use it on like the the left side of their widget slots so let me show you guys how to include this widget so what you want to do is once you have steve installed you want to jump over to the left side and you don't do it like all the other widgets so you have to scroll all the way down go to edit at the bottom right here then you want to hit customize and then steve will normally be somewhere like in this more widgets tab hit that plus icon and then you want to move it up to the top so you can easily find it now when you're on your home screen and you get bored you could just swipe over here and it could start playing and it could also unlock more characters as you can see so if you jump on into the app itself and you unlock all these characters as you can see you could choose between this Halloween theme you have the it you have Santa all these different like characters my favorite one is the Minecraft one of course but look at all these different characters you have go over here as you can see we have the Minecraft one though which is really cool so if you want to get this one Links for Steve will be down below in the description. Next up on the list, guys, we have the Motivation app. Now, this one is purely for aesthetics and also it keeps me motivated in my opinion. So if you jump on into my third page right here, you can see my Motivation widget. And this changes between quotes that you've chosen. So you have a category of different quotes you could choose from. You pick like your vibe, your mood, and it will literally curate quotes 
every time it would change and it helps you keep you motivated and I think it's really cool to have on your home screen when you're just browsing your phone it gives you that extra pep or that boost that you always needed next up guys we have the twitch widget app one of my favorite widgets as you can see I have one right here and also if I scroll between my stack widgets we have another twitch widget right here so for everyone who can get this twitch widget guys make sure that you have your twitch app on your phone and also go into the app store make sure you have all your apps updated so to check all your apps if it's updated hit your profile picture refresh the page and then you can see every app that you need to update which is right here so once you have twitch updated you add the widget to your home screen very simple you want to long press plus sign and as you can see we have all these different widgets you could choose from so you could choose between a large widget which gives all your different followed streamers right here the small one and also this very small one which basically it shows every time like a streamer you watch a lot the time you usually watch that streamer curated to that so it's really good and also you have the guided one so this one will show you when your streamers will go live and all of that stuff their stream schedule so you could prepare yourself and I really like this because if you're on your home screen and you forgot to like have a notification for that streamer you could see them right here and if you want to watch them you would just click one button and then it jumps straight to their stream which is really fast and handy next up guys we have fantastical now this is one of my favorite calendar apps since like way back and they also added widgets they actually have 11 different widget styles you could choose from and for me I have fantastical on my like left ultra left page so this is fantastical right here it shows all my reminders all my events and also shows the time and also the the weather so it shows the weather for that day so that's the reason I really like this one so if I'm supposed to go somewhere I could see what the weather would look like for that day you can see all the different widgets you could choose from small just the icon you have the date you have the date plus calendar you have the calendar two different months right here you have the different reminders reminders plus date plus weather literally so much different widgets you could choose from up to 11 it's insane shout out to fantastical for adding so much widgets for free that's crazy so yeah that's one of my like top calendar apps and i think you guys would like it next up guys we have smart stack so smart stack is not really a widget but it's a way that you could stack your widgets based on like how you use an application so for example you could add two different apps into one like layer I also have it on my home screen so I have the OVO right here and also if I want to check the weather before I go out I'll just swipe up and it will show the weather right here so let me show you how to quickly add a smart stack I also have it on this page for parcels so it's really handy guys so let me show you how to add it so if you have like a medium widget right here you want to long press hit the plus sign and say for example you wanted to add a let's say we wanted to add a files widget we'd hit add widget right here hold it down stack it onto it hit done and now as you can see we could rotate between and you could add like multiple you could go to edit stack widgets and have smart rotate if you wanted to rotate automatically turn it off if you want to just have them not rotate and you could add tons of different widgets you could just keep swiping between them but I normally go for two because that's how if like, like the most efficient way to me next up guys we have the Google search widgets now this is probably like one of my favorite widgets in terms of anything from Google and it's kind of way better than the Google widgets on Android but here we have four different tiles that we could choose from so in order to have this widget you'd have to have the Google search app so this is what the Google search app looks like this one right here and basically with the Google search app you could search between like it's just like Google Chrome but like for searching and it also shows you created stuff so if you go onto your home screen the Google home you will show you all the stuff you're interested in based on your searches and it's really handy so the widget itself you could choose between a voice search you could use the lens feature and the lens feature is really cool so for example if you wanted to find a price or anything or figure out what something is you just hit the lens button right here and as you can see now if we hold it against this camera hit search it will find the camera for us then we could literally search the prices and all that stuff so if there's anything that you want to figure out you could just jump onto the lens feature if you want to search something in incognito you have the option voice search you have the option hit that 
Hello, who is Siobhan Salmon? It brings up everything about me right here. It's super quick and easy, and also you could manually search for stuff. So yeah, the Google search widget, my top favorite um, widgets in iOS 14. What's up guys, we have countdowns. Now this one is kind of self-explanatory. As you can see, we have two different countdowns right here. My birthday, which is in 27 days. We have that stacked up, and also the Apple event, which is tomorrow. It shows us that there's 10 hours and 29 minutes remaining very simple app that literally just shows you countdown so if you want to add a countdown event for your best friend's birthday or a countdown event for like a Travis Scott concert or something easily add that widget all I want to do make sure you have the countdown app which is right here let me show you what it looks like it's called countdowns then you could choose between a large widget medium or small last but not least on this list guys is one of my favorites again obviously it's in the top 10 it's called parcel so parcel basically shows you all your parcels that will be coming soon so for example I have my G Pro and also the OnePlus 8T that I'm waiting on right now and I just swipe between this one and it shows me all that right here it shows me when it's gonna be delivered if I wanted to add a larger widget I could so if you go into parcel you have to add your tracking numbers and everything but once you add your tracking number you're good to go we'll show you all the stuff you're waiting on so if I jump onto G Pro right here it will show me like What's going on with this? Is it gonna come? What's happening? I probably shouldn't have shown the tracking number. Hopefully I blurred it out. But yeah, that's basically how parcel works. You just put in your tracking number and it groups all your um deliveries. And yeah, it's pretty simple. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed my top 10 favorite widgets free widgets of course it was kind of hard to find some free widgets so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to subscribe and also drop a like share this video with your friends and as always guys if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments follow me on instagram at chevon someone underscore or my twitter at it's underscore chevy if you have any questions i'll try to answer but as always love peace and tweaks signing out wait who's excited for the apple event tomorrow let me know but yes guys peace